The cross vested government, in partnership with Bank of Industry, has concluded plans to fund women in small and medium sized enterprise as well as train women on the art of bag and shoemaking. The disclosure was made by the State Commissioner for Women Affairs, Mrs. Stella Oremo Day, in an exclusive interview with Cross Our TV. Our duty, our vision and mission in our, the Ministry of Women Affairs is to see how we can emancipate women socially, politically, and economically. So socially, we do a lot of programs. We do embark on a lot of sensitization of women to make them uh, know uh, the number of projects we have in order to enhance their well-being. Uh, in the ministry, we have done a great deal of desensitization. We do a lot of trainings for them, skills acquisition. Uh, right now, we have one that will soon um, uh, comments fully, you know, where we'll be teaching women skills like um, shoe and bag making. We'll be teaching them even some sort of sneaker making. Sneakers, you know, for women and men, they'll be uh, taught how to make these sneakers. But um, the most importantly, what we again want to engage in, which we'll be doing that shortly, is to see that we create value chain for the products of these women. There must be a value chain to see that by the end of it all, we create markets for them as well. And um, economically, we equally try to see how we can put empower them, you know, uh, by making them form themselves into cooperative societies to enable them access funds from financial institutions. Right now, we have a great number of these uh, women cooperative societies. We're partnering with uh, the Bank of Industry to see that um, these uh, cooperative societies are well funded for them to be able to carry out their SMSEs, small and medium enterprise businesses. Because you agree with me that women, um, over time, are engaged in small and medium enterprises the most. Because um, in times past, they couldn't have access to. Um, getting funds from financial institutions because of lack of collaterals, collateral securities, you know. So all we do is to see that uh, we encourage them towards formation of cooperative societies because when they form cooperative societies, there's this um, cross-guarantee from women to women, so it makes it easier for us. Uh, we just identify women that have uh, similar businesses, similar interests, and form them into cooperative societies. In the ministry, we uh, set up some data bank for all these cooperative societies so that uh, at every point in time, we can get them exposed to funding, you know, in all ramifications. Then, um, if you're looking at the political aspect, we are equally trying to see that um, we equip women. Um, the next political dispensation will soon be here. So we're trying as much as possible to get these women well-groomed for political offices by bringing them into uh, workshops, trying to school them, you know, about um, politics ahead of time so that uh, they know what it entails of them to get into political offices. And, um, you know, again, they need funds. So they, everything we do in the ministry is interwoven. The economic aspect is interwoven with the political aspect because they need money, too, to be able to go into politics successfully. Women in agriculture is equally very um, vital to us here in the ministry. We have a desk office. When I came on board, I decided to say, oh, it's very vital for women to get um, extremely involved in agricultural uh, practices. So that preempted me, you know, to establish a desk office for agriculture. And as I speak to you, we've been able to sponsor a great number of women to go to um, the Songhai farms where they have finished training. They finish training from the Songa farms and that again is going to um, qualify them to assess uh, the cash um, um, provision from Central Bank to enable them to uh, go and establish their farms. Some that already have farms. These farms are going to be revigorated you know, with the funds they are going to be getting from the CBN um, funding that is ongoing. We equally have the cotton farm coming up. We have the, farm, the, the forms available. Our desk officer has all these forms available to share to women. And again, we know that education is the bedrock of everything. For a woman to be an achiever, for a woman to be uh, self-sustaining, she has to be properly educated. So we try as much as possible. We open a web page for them. Like in my ministry, we have a Facebook page, we have a WhatsApp page. All these are all chat rooms that we try to build up, you know, for women to know exactly what is happening in the ministry. At Jeremiah, Crossroad TV.